forget to smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload, and comment down below your thoughts about it. Don't forget to enjoy! Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to go to your control board. Okay. See all the dials there. And look for the resistance dial. And look for what, Elena? The dial, it says resistance on it, to resistance to healing. Okay. And at the same time, I want you to look at the dial, another dial, which says on it, secondary gains. Okay. Okay. Now the resistance dial goes from zero to 10. 10 means very, very high resistance. Zero means no resistance. Secondary gain. 10 means tons of secondary gains. Zero means no secondary gains. Okay. What is your resistance dial at? Okay. My resistance dial is, I'd say at about a five. Okay, and what is your secondary gain dial at? I think I'd say a three. Okay, I want you to go to your resistance dial that's at a five. First of all, try turning it higher, see what happens instead. It's, it really is, doesn't want to go anywhere. Okay, so you can't turn it low either, you're saying. Um, I didn't try that. Let me try that. Okay. Yeah, I can turn it lower, but it doesn't want to go higher. Okay, good. What do you get it to when you turn it lower? That energy flying around in my body again. Okay, and what number do you get it to? Just to a four. Okay. When you feel that four, when it's stuck, where do you feel that stuckness? Right in my midsection. This is a color attached. What's the color? color is a pink color. Pink. What color do you <clears throat> want it to be? I want it to be green. Go spring ahead. green. Breathe in that spring green. Keep breathing it in until there's no pink left. It's only spring green. Okay, I think the pink is gone. Okay, go back to your dial. What's the number now? It's at a two. Okay, try turning it down. Okay, I took it to a one. Is it stuck there? So these changes that I described to you, are they surprising to you at all, or are they just normal? Normal. Totally normal. 
I just don't understand why I have so many ups and downs with this and so many, I mean, I get really, really in a dark place with it. I'll say like this, you're in a place where you feel very helpless. Yeah, I do. Right? You don't have a lot of support around you. And usually you don't have a lot of people who are believing in this type of work around you. Now, when I first started this work, I told you, my parents were saying to each other, no one will ever in a million years pay her to do this type of work. Guess they were wrong. But I've surrounded myself with people who believe in it. So that when I go to someone who doesn't believe, it's much easier for me to convince them because I have all the support around me. I've created the support. I've chosen my friends based on what I want to see in my life. Understand? And most of them are not even friends who are living in my community. Most of them are, are friends from online. I'm pretty limited on what I can do, you know, because I have one hand to type with. I can't drive. I can't get out by myself. I can't even go outside and get fresh air by myself. I get that. But even if you are limited in terms of that, your online friends, you're not limited by. Use talk. You can, There's dictation programs now. You talk, it writes it down for you. You don't even have to type for it. So you're talking about some kind of chat group? Whether it be chat groups, not support groups. I don't believe in support groups. Support groups just sort of um, strengthen the problem that you have. Gives you more validation for it. So I'm not into support groups. I'm into choosing friends that will uplift you. Choosing friends that will create good feelings. You know, people ask me all the time where I get all my Facebook posts from because they're all very inspirational. I've chosen friends who are inspirational. They put up good posts and I share them. And then people share my posts. But I did it knowingly, you know, by design, not by default. Who is it? Um, I don't know whether it's Tony Robbins or John Astraff, all these people, they will tell you, you are the sum total of your five best friends. Choose your friends well. If you choose friends who are going to sit there and complain all day long, that's where you're going to be. You choose friends who are upbeat, uplifted, positive, that's where you're going to be. Choose your friends well. Understand? Yeah, I get that part. It's just, you know, my life is so weird right now because I have a caregiver who's here most of the time and you know, the other people are people that I don't, that come from church and I don't have a lot. We're real different. We don't have much in common. I mean, even to talk about EFT with them would be kind of a, a stretch for their minds. I have those people in my life, too. It's not that I don't, but who cares? You can, you can accept all different types of people. I don't have, they don't have to believe what I'm saying in order for it to be true. You don't have to be positive. You don't have to be believing this stuff to be positive be positive just because you're a positive person even without this you don't have to only choose friends who believe in all this stuff but choose friends who are positive choose friends who see the bright side of life it was funny when I first got divorced my son was in going into first grade and there was another boy in the first grade who the two of them together they would always get into trouble and get suspended and because they would fight with each other. And so one day I decided I'll call up the mother of the boy, invite them over on the day that they were both suspended and, you know, make it a fun day so that they'll become friends. And if they become friends, they won't fight at school as much and they won't get suspended as much. Right. So my son, how do you say, she looked at her son and said, you know, your dad's going to be really upset with you when he gets home and finds out you're suspended again. And my son piped up and said, my dad will never know. He doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> and we just looked at each other and said, always look at the right side of life. <laughs> it's like, you have to laugh. Nothing you can do about that, right? <laughs> that's cute. 
in any case. She doesn't do the work that I do. She doesn't believe in my work. But we can still be friends. Big deal. We can still be positive together. Still believe that there's a better place to be, a better place to go to, a better, you know, there's room to improve yourself. And that's what you're striving for. The world is made up of many different types of people for a reason. Makes it more interesting. If we were all exactly the same thing, life would be really boring. Yeah, it would be. And I'd have no one to work on. So... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right? Go back to your resistance style. Was a one. Can you turn it down to a zero? Same thing. It just doesn't want to go down. Okay. What do you feel inside of you? My it's upper stomach. Notice there's a color attached. What's the color? It's a cream color. What color do you want to be? Sky blue. Go ahead. Breathe in that sky blue. Keep breathing it in until there's no cream left. So it's all sky blue. Okay, it's at blue now. Okay, go back. Look at your resistance style. What's the number now? Now it's at a two. Okay. Turn it down. See what happens. It's going, but there was a little bit of resistance. What do you feel the resistance? Same area, but a little higher. Notice the color. Dark green. What color do you want to be? White. Go ahead, breathe in the white. Keep breathing it in until there's none of that green left. Okay, that green green is about gone now. <clears throat> okay, go back to your dial. What's the number now? Seven. Okay, now let's refill the seven. Where do you feel it? In my tailbone. This is a color attached. What's the color? What's the color? It was red. What's it now? It's 
It's still red, but it's getting a little darker red. What color do you want to be? Yellow. Let's go ahead, read in the yellow. Okay, I've got it to yellow. <clears throat> okay, go back, look at your dial. What's it now? It's at a two. Okay, turn it down. going on. And I just feel a lot of heaviness inside. Okay. What's the color of the heaviness? Black. What color do you want to be? I'd like to lighten it up to a gray color. Just go ahead. Lighten it up. Is it there right now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you hear her saying that to you? Yes, I can. Can you see her? Yeah. Can you feel the feelings? Yes, I can. Step inside of her. What is she feeling? Resentment. Start tapping. Her resentment. My resentment. All the resentment. Whatever it means. Whatever it represents. All the sensations. All the colors. All the images, all the memories that support it, all the proofs that support it, all the programs that support it. It's all in the past. The past is over. Right now, it's all in my mind. I'm the director, I'm the producer. I'm the actors. I'm even the playwright. I might as well make it good. And as I do, my whole world changes for the better. When I was little, I didn't have much choice. But I can change the lenses to my glasses now. I can change my perspective. I can change my perspective. Let everything else go. Let everything else go. I'm safe. I'm safe. We're all safe. We're all safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Go back in. It's your mom. What are you feeling now? She feels powerless. Start tapping. She feels powerless. She feels powerless. I feel powerless. I feel powerless. All the powerless. All the powerless. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. Whatever it presents. Whatever it represents. All the sensations. All the sensations. The colors. The colors. The images. The images. The proofs. The proofs. The memories. 
The memories. Let it go. Let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to heal. It's time to heal. It's time to let it all heal. And put it all heal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Peace. And peace. Step back and turn. What are you feeling now? She just feels lost, like, you know, emotionally lost. Start tapping. She feels emotionally lost. She feels emotionally lost. I feel emotionally lost. I feel emotionally lost. All the emotionally lost. All the emotionally lost. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. Whatever it presents. Whatever it represents. All the sensations. All the sensations. The images. The images. The colors. The colors. The proofs. The proofs. The programs. The programs. The conflicts. The conflicts. Let it all go. Let it all go. Safe to let it go. Safe to let it go. Time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's all in my mind. It's all in my mind. I'm creating it now. I'm creating it now. She wouldn't fit into my mind even if she tried. She wouldn't get into my mind even if she tried. She's too big. She's too big. It's all me. It's all me. And I choose to change it. And I choose to change it. I choose to transform it. I choose to transform it. Into a feeling of well-being. Into feelings of well-being. Happiness. Happiness. Joy. Joy. And unconditional love. And unconditional love. In every part of my life. In every part of my life. Let everything else go. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Peace. Go back. What you feeling now? Hmm. It's interesting because her whole, the way she's held it, held her body has changed. Mm -hmm. She's standing differently and everything. In a better way, she's standing. Oh, I know what I'm, she's feeling. She wants to have control. Not necessarily better. It's just changed. It's different. Okay. Start tapping. She wants to have control. She wants to have control. I want to have control. I want to have control. We all want to have control. We all want to have control. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Whatever that represents. Whatever that represents. Just let it go. Just let it go. The only thing that we can control. The only thing that take control. Is ourselves. Is ourselves. The only thing that we can change. The only thing that we can change. Is ourselves. Is ourselves. But when we change ourself. But when we change ourself. It reverberates out to others. It reverberates out to others. And either they change too. And either they change too. Or they leave. Or they leave. Because they're no longer on the same vibration that I'm at. Because they're no longer on the same vibration that I'm at. I choose to take control of myself. I choose to take control of myself. I can't control what happens to me. I can't control what happens to me. But I can sure as heck control how I react to it. I sure as heck can control how I react to it. And I choose to react in the way. And I choose to react in a way. That will always bring me joy. 
that will always bring me joy. Love. Love. And happiness. And happiness. And everything that I do. In everything that I do. In every part of my life. In every part of my life. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Step back into her. What's she feeling now? Okay, now her anger's coming up. Start tapping. Her anger. Her anger. My anger. My anger. All the anger. All the anger. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. Whatever it presents. Whatever it represents. All the proofs. All the proofs. All the pictures. All the pictures. All the images. All the images. All the conflicts. All the conflicts. All the lack of love. All the lack of love. All the lack of recognition. Lack of recognition. Just let it all go. Just let it all go. I thank you for all their hard work. Thank you for all your hard work. Trying to keep me safe. Trying to keep me safe. The only way that you knew how. The only way that you knew how. But I have better tools now. But I have better tools now. And I use them to keep us all safe. I use them to keep us all safe. It's safe to be safe. It's safe to be safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Pull out. That's interesting because as I put my arm down, you know, this arm is the one that's very stiff and mm -hmm. I could feel it loosening up and letting go a little bit. Good. Good, good. Step back into her body. What's she feeling now? She's disappointed with life. Start tapping. With her. With what? With her life. She's disappointed with her life. She's disappointed with her life. I'm disappointed with my life. I'm disappointed with my life. All the disappointments. All the disappointments. Whatever they mean. Whatever they mean. Whatever they represent. Whatever they represent. They all came to teach me something. They all came to teach me something. And once I get the message. And once I get the message. Once I get the gift. Once I get the gift. I can set it free. I can set it free. And by setting it free, I can set myself free. And by setting it free, I can set myself free. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm safe. I'm safe. It's safe to be safe. It's safe to be safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. So you mean there might be a possibility that she said that to me to protect me? There could be any reason in the world that she said it, then it doesn't make a difference. The fact that she said it doesn't mean you have to accept it. It's never too late to create the good childhood. Never. Do you remember when she told it to you the first time? Not the first time. I mean, she told me probably hundreds of times in my lifetime. It's just over and over and over again. She just keep repeating these stories. I want you to go back to five minutes before the first time that you can remember it happening. And I want you to go to that little Debbie. Tell her who you are. Make her believe it. Tell you're from the future. Make her believe it. And then tell her 
no matter what happens in her life, you will always, always, always love her, accept her, forgive her, guide her, teach her, support her, help her, show her the path of least resistance to where she wants to get to. Hold her tight in your heart, right where she belongs. And then with all the knowledge, wisdom, and information you've gained in these past few sessions that we've had, and throughout your life in general, I want you to give her all that information, all that knowledge, all that guidance. And let it go straight down to the level of her DNA so it can be expressed automatically, naturally, and effortlessly whenever she needs it, without even having to think about it, just like her hair goes without thinking about it, just like her fingernails go without thinking about it just like she breathes without thinking about it. Let me know when you've done that. So is that the kind of thing you, you do with your little inner child when you have that date with her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you done it already? Yeah. You haven't finished. Close your eyes. Now I want you to see your timeline from then all the way till today. And on that timeline, I want you to notice that you have some positive events, you have some less than positive events. But as you go through that timeline with all that information inside your DNA expressed automatically, naturally, and effortlessly without having to think about it, notice how all the less than positive experiences hop on over to the positive side. And all the positive experiences hop on over and become more and more positive. And I want you to go through that timeline not once, not 10 times, not 100 times, but millions of times at the speed of thought. And as you're doing that, notice that all those experiences are becoming more and more positive and there's none left unless it's positive side. And inside your mind, notice how your mind is flashing with all sorts of lights as you're creating new neuronal connections, sort of like a Christmas tree on Christmas Eve or whatever else comes to your mind that you celebrate or that you've seen in your life. Just notice those lights going off inside your mind, creating those new neural connections because neurons that wire to fire together, wire together and keep going around, reliving it over and over again till those new recollections are so strong in your mind, you couldn't uproot them even if you tried. You're talking about the positive neural connections. That's correct. The ones that you've just rerouted. Taken away the negative ones and rerouted the positive ones. We've taken all those less than positive and moved it over to the positive side and kept going till they grew bigger and bigger and better and better with every breath you take and every beat of your heart. Let her feel the love that you feel for her pouring right through. Let it grow bigger and bitter and better and better. The love that she always wanted, the love that she needed. Just give it to her. Love her unconditionally. Please see that big smile on her face and that warm glow on her face. Can you see it yet? Yeah, I can see it now. Good. And let that glow grow stronger and stronger. Feel the warmth emanating out from her as she feels that love pouring in, filling her up, every nook and cranny. And if there was one thing she could do that would make her the happiest camper in the world, what would it be? I think she'd want to see her girls again. Okay. Can you give her that? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Make that movie. Make the movie big. Make it bright on a big IMAX screen in front of you. So big and bright. 
five dimensional using every single sentence that you have. And when you got the biggest, best picture over there, the strongest, take your hand and step right in so that you can live it right this very moment. And as you step in, notice how the feelings are growing even stronger, even bigger, even better. See her smile from ear to ear, showering you with the love that you need as you shower her with the love that she needed. Yeah, she's happy now. Good. And as you see that happy face, as you feel that happy feeling, notice there's a part of your body where you feel it first. Where's that part? Right on my um, left side under my rib cage. And those are just a color attached to it. What's the color? Reddish pink. Let that reddish pink energy zoom out, beam out, creating a reddish pink frame right around the very best picture in that movie. And when you got it, Take the frame by the two sides and bring it up and down over your body, washing your mind, body, spirit, and soul with all those good feelings, those feelings of love, the feelings of happiness and joy. Hmm. That's an interesting feeling. New one, huh? Keep it. Yeah, it is. Let it grow bigger, let it grow stronger, let it grow better. Go back to it as often as you can, linking as many new experiences as you can to that feeling. Let the feeling take root inside of you, growing out the shoots, the branches and the leaves and the flowers. Sending off more and more shoots to every single part of your body, every limb, every organ, every cell. Turn on that happiness gene. All you need to do is flip the switch. And as you feel the happiness spread throughout your whole body, notice how the healing has a better place to take place in. Because for anything to happen, you need to have the proper atmosphere, the proper substance. And happiness and joy is that proper substance. It feels lighter now. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to step out of your body. I want you to go seven days into the future. And as you go there, I want you to step into the body of Debbie over there. I want you to see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel. Paying special attention to all the things we spoke about today. Let me report back. It's like she's telling me she's sorry she didn't mean to hurt me. Your mother or your younger self. 
My mother's telling me that. In the future. How does it feel? It feels cleaner. Okay. Stepping out of there. Go one month, seven days into the future. Step one month in. into the future? One month, seven days into the future. Step into the Debbie of then. See what she sees. Hear what she hears. Feel what she feels. Give me a report back. Paying special attention to all the things we worked on today. I know it felt lighter, and now it's starting to feel like that heavy feeling's coming back into it. Start tapping that heavy feeling. That heavy feeling. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. Whatever it represents. Whatever it represents. Whatever message it's coming to bring me. Whatever message it's coming to bring me. Whatever gift it's coming to bring me. To bring me. I get the gift. I get the gift. I get the message. I get the message. I thank it for its hard work. I thank it for its hard work. I forgive it. I forgive it. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And I set us both free. I set us all free. Free to love life. Free to love life. Free to feel joy. Feel free joy. Free to feel happiness. Free to feel happiness. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Regardless of where I am. Regardless of where I am. Regardless of what I'm doing. Regardless of what I'm doing. Let everything else go. Let everything else go. I only keep that unconditional love. I only keep unconditional love. Unconditional happiness. Conditional happiness. And unconditional joy. And unconditional joy. I'm safe. I'm safe. Get your wrist. What's going on? What's going on? Um, just a minute, I'll tell you. Nothing definite. It's just kind of a pervasive kind of feeling I'm, I'm having. What kind of pervasive? Heaviness or lighter? Um, a little bit lighter, but not a lot lighter. Okay. Look at the heaviness style. Zero to ten. Ten is extremely heavy. Zero is not heavy at all. What was your number? It's at a 10. Which I didn't touch it. Turn it down. Notice the shifts and changes occur inside as you turn it down. It's like dragging it through mud. Start tapping. Dragging it through mud. Dragging it through mud. I'm dragging it through mud. I'm dragging it through mud. Dragging me through mud. Dragging me through mud. Dragging us all through mud. Dragging myself through mud. Let it go. Let it go. Mud can be fun. Mud can be fun. If you find the fun. If you find the fun. I choose to always find the fun. I choose to always find the fun. I choose to always find the good. I choose to always find the good. I choose to always find the cup half full. I choose to always find the cup half full. Or better yet, I choose to find it all full. Or better yet, I choose to find it all full. And even when I drink it. And even when I drink it. I can let it refill automatically. I can let it refill automatically. So that my cup always flows over. And my cup always flows over. Let everything else go. Let everything else go. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist. Breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Peace. Let's see over here what they say about stroke. Stroke, 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 stroke. Is that Lucky's Hayes books? Yeah.
giving up, resistance, rather die than change, rejection of life. I mean, that might have been when the stroke happened, but now what I'm dealing with is this arm locked up, this arm and hand locked up. I understand, but that's what brought it on in the first place. Let's see what arm represents. Arm, 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 arm. Arm, arm. Represents the capacity and the ability to hold the experiences of life. Okay, can you kind of break that down for me into my own situation then? Okay. Right now, you're still rejecting yourself. I can't live in this situation. I can't deal with what I have to deal with. It's really hard. Am I ever going to heal? A lot of healing has to come with the first acceptance. You have children? No. No. Okay. When you go through childbirth and you have contractions, when you fight the contraction, it becomes that much more painful. When you relax to the contraction, it goes much easier. With my last two children, I did what's called the Bradley method of childbirth. Okay, I bought the book and I taught it to myself. I was supposed to have a coach. I didn't have a coach. My husband didn't want to be my coach. Basically, I learned it so well, the coach was talking inside my mind as I was going through it. When I was in the hospital, they put you on these um, sensors to test, number one, how the contractions are, and number two, the heart rate of the baby to make sure the baby's still okay. The contractions were off the charts. The doctors were sitting there saying, I don't understand. She should be screeching and screaming but I learned how to totally relax my body so that I was working together with the contraction. And to them, I, it looked like I was sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I heard everything that they said. I was just putting myself into a state of total relaxation. Wow. Okay. When you accept the situation and you stop fighting it, then you can start learning what you need to learn from it and you can start healing. As long as you're still fighting it, it's going to go even stronger because it's just, all these things are coming to bring you a message, a signal. That's all. And until you get the signal, it's going to keep coming back, shouting louder and louder and louder and louder. I mean, I've tried to go the spiritual route with this and, and approach it that way, but I mean, that doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere either. What's the spiritual route? I mean, I've been reading the Bible and Course in Miracles and Christian Science, Science and Health. And... Right. You have to find what works for you. It would, that wouldn't work for me either. <laughs> Believe me, that wouldn't work for me either. But for some people, it does. Does it make him wrong or right? No. That's why there's a thousands of different types of modalities. And some modalities work for some people. Some modalities work for other people. That's fine. So, uh, Elena, you're essentially saying that you think I, what I need to do is accept my situation and just relax into it and that's try to get... That's number one. And number two, try to hear what the gift it's bringing you. What it's trying to teach you about yourself, about life. And number three, release all the things inside of you that brought it upon you in the first place. Not because you brought it upon yourself, but because you never worked to release those things. And the body follows the mind. I didn't really know those things were there. I know, most people don't. Most people don't. Same thing goes for cancer in my opinion. Stephen Parkhill is a, psycho, a hypnotherapist who people who are terminally cancer, means doctors basically gave up hope, and he has regressed them back to cause and healed them. The tumors disappeared in front of their eye, in front of his eyes. Tumors that you could see like sticking out from the body.
So that's how he got to the root cause? Yeah. But you're saying that tapping will do the same thing if you're just consistent with it. Yeah. Tapping is, in essence, the same idea. Tapping brings up the memories that needs to be worked on, or the, the feeling is a memory, by the way, okay? People think, I don't have memories, I only have feelings. Feelings are memories. They represent something, which is why when we do the tapping, I say, whatever it represents, all the memories that are connected to it, all the attachments are connected, all the programs connected to it, and all the proofs connected to it. The proofs are the memories that are connected to it that support it. And Robert was saying the other day in the video that um, when you have a certain sensation, a lot of times it's in the organ. The organ is having that something. It could be, yeah. could be. There's a difference between chronic and um, immediate. Immediate is usually the organ. Chronic can be, but doesn't have to be. So you feel like even um, with this arm that's kind of stuck here, some people would call it paralysis or whatever, this hand and arm, mm -hmm. that if I can get to the root cause of that through tapping, I may be able to get it to release. Mm -hmm. And when I just start and sit and feel what I feel about this, you know, what it looks like and my feelings for it and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do something with you right now. This I can't video, so I'm turning off the video. But Don't forget, if you like this video, leave a like down below, subscribe to my channel, or subscribe to my newsletter. The address is right down below over there. Have a great week.